this is Judith Richard. I'm the broker owner of Perfect Choice Properties in Concord. And today my special guest is Dave Casava, the owner of Advanced Home Inspections. And Dave's topic today is crazy home inspection story. So take it away, yeah. Dave. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> and thank you for having me. I appreciate that. I can remember a few of my own over the last 10 years. The very first time I was, uh, went up on a metal roof. Fortunately, it was on a ranch, so it wasn't three stories off the ground. <laughs> yeah. But I got up on the roof, and I got off my ladder, and I started walking around, and I was taking pictures and looking at things. As I kept walking, I, I started to feel the roof was getting slippery under my feet. I wear work boots with limited cleats on them so I don't drag mud into the house. Okay. What I hadn't realized was that metal roofs chalk. If you look at a metal roof over the years, they get this chalkiness on top of the paint. It's very common, it's not a problem with the paint. However, it's very slippery. So I'm at the peak of the roof, and I start to walk down to go to my ladder to get off the roof, and I start sliding. Oof. And I'm trying to figure out, what am I gonna do? Because I was sliding quickly. So I grabbed onto the peak and stopped, and I did not have any of the information to contact the realtor that was sitting inside <laughs> to come out and hold the ladder for me, <laughs> so when I slide down, I can grab the ladder. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed now, and I'm like, okay, now what do I do? So I tried to wipe my boots off on my pants, and that didn't really work. So I ended up wetting my hands with my tongue, and <laughs> I could grasp the panel and slide down, and my hands gave enough friction to allow me to get to the edge of the roof to get to the ladder and come down off the ladder. But the lesson learned there <laughs> was... One of the things the home inspector should let the realtor know is that if you don't see your home inspector for a period of time, 20, 30 minutes, and all of a sudden you look up for your computer and you wonder where he's at, maybe you want to check on him. Because there are other instances when we go into other areas, the way crawl spaces and attics, that we could get stuck. And nobody would know we're stuck, and there's no way for us to communicate that to somebody. It's one of those funny stories today, but it wasn't funny at the time. I'm sure it wasn't. That is a great story, but I think all of our craziness that's ever happened to us in this industry does bring us a little closer to maybe a little better at our jobs. And we now stop and think about, yes. I know as a realtor, one of the questions that I've started asking is, do you have any pet snakes when I come to the <laughs> listing appointment? Because I really want to know about that. Yeah. And I think it's important that I'm able to tell the buyers or if I've got a, if it's an assisted showing and I'm walking into it, I, I want to know that, you know, Clyde's in his cage. <laughs> well, first off, I'm not going there. <laughs> but, um, so I, I have interesting uh, showing and listing appointment um, snakes and terrariums. Yeah. So I get it. Well, you know, Julie, that reminds me, I'm going to, quick story. I get up in attics and I don't think much about them, but I'll tell you what, I will come out of an attic head first when I bump into bats. <laughs> I climbed into an <laughs> attic one day and I had just gotten off my ladder into the attic and a bat came flying through the air towards me and it spooked the heck out of me. Now I'm not petrified of bats, but when I don't know they're there, it scares me. And I came out of that attic so fast and the realtor looked at me and said, what's the matter? And I said, I think I just almost got hit by a bat. So I can appreciate rodents. <laughs> Other inspectors, some that have worked for me, have bumped into raccoons, squirrels. So there are, rodents can get all over the property, um, but bats for me are the one. Now, just because I'm not aware they're there and they spook me. So that's... Yeah, anything that you, is coming at you, you don't know is coming at you. And you never know <laughs> until you open up the area. That's so right. That's, that's what we oh, that's interesting. That. Well, thank you so much for sharing some funny stories with us <laughs> You're today. Welcome, Judy. Thanks again. Thank you. Have a great me. day. <laughs> <laughs>